This is the last video in a series called Parallax on the Web. I know that because we're doing a footer and footers come last. Science. This is a normal footer. See how it's on the bottom? See how it naturally follows the content on the page? Now behold our footer. See how it is unmoved? You see how it is revealed? It stands a simple element unmoved by the whims of its master's scroll wheel. It is a spectacle. It is beautiful. And best of all, it's really easy to do. So to make this fantabulous fixed footer, we're going to head over to the index.jade file and go all the way to the bottom. And we have here these posts that we made in the last video. And we're going to outdent a little bit and go on the same level of the of the article here because the article is constraining the width and we want the footer to be full width. So let's say footer. Um, inside of the footer we're going to need first of all a row and uh, we can call that row footer. We can call it footer stuff. <laughs> um, and then inside the row we're going to need some columns and we're going to do uh, three columns for this one. And uh, let's say that um, it's like a list of links in the, you know, it's like footer stuff. So the first one will be a list of links and uh, this will be like social media. So find us on, because it's a, remember it's a fashion website. And they love their links. So we'll make a UL and then inside of that some LIs with uh, some links in them. And there's going to be like Twitter and Facebook and whatever else. Twitter, Facebook, what do people like? Twitter, uh, Pinterest? That's fashion-y and Instagram. <clears throat> okay, so we have these links in this column. Let's do the next column here, which is going to be column dot three. Uh, and we'll just like like say it's like a you know like sister shops or sister sites. We'll call it other uh, shops. And um, we'll do the same structures up above here with the UL and everything. And let's just let's call it Blackbird. Let's make up like Red Robin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Emerald Eagle, uh, Crimson Crane, <laughs> and Auburn. What's a what's a bird that starts with an A? Auburn, Auburn. Uh, I don't even know any birds that start with an A. <laughs> There's all these suggestions here, words that start with CEP. It's amazing that like um, so many people have uh, Googled this already. Beginning Birds beginning with A. Okay, let's call it an abbot. I guess that's a bird. Okay, um, so we have all these like cute little <laughs> uh, alliterate, alliter alliterative uh, store names. And then in the last column, that's right. The last column. See, these are uneven, uneven columns. This is going to be, it's going to be six, six units wide. Uh, we're going to do a paragraph, some lorem. Hey, some lorem. Thank you. And this is going to be actually like a, a newsletter thing. So, uh, sign up for the newsletter. And I don't need a lot of lorem. Just a little bit. And then this can be strong, St strong, okay, and below that we'll have the actual newsletter signups, we're going to need a form, and the form is going to be the row, and we're going to make some columns in here, columns 8 for the, um, for the input field, 
and so we'll say input uh, type equals uh, email and place holder equals your email. And then uh, we're going to do columns uh, columns four and uh, another input and this will be the uh, the button type equals submit and we'll, and we'll call it this class this this is a class that's inside of uh, actually maybe a, is that working so 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 we have this footer here at the bottom you see how this this email box is not going all, all the way across so we have to add something to it we have to add a class of u dash full dash width hopefully that little sort that out it doesn't look like it. Okay, don't care. Oh yeah, that worked. <laughs> now let's jump into our styles and uh, go all the way to the bottom and create a new section called, you guessed it, footer. And that will start with a footer tag. And we want to make this background black. And uh, the color of the text should be white, give it a nice heavy contrast, boom. And uh, the links inside of there, they should be color white too. Padding can be uh, top and bottom, 40 pixels. And then uh, the footer stuff, which is the inside of the footer, that needs to have a max width of like, you know, 640, I think was, was what the other grid was, right? Okay, and then margin zero auto to center it. Okay, and that's maybe still a little too much text on the newsletter, but that's fine. Nah, let's get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Do it. Get rid of it. Okay, better. That button though, it's like see-through or transparent background, so we'll, we'll add another uh, skeleton class of button uh, dash primary. And we'll make it blue. There you go. All right, back to the layout. Let's make this footer position fixed. Bottom zero. Boom. Width 100%. Okay. Okay, now everything, now so it's like always on the bottom, everything is kind of going under it, and that's cool, but what we want to do to make this a parallaxy effect, we want kind of things to like scroll differently than we normally expect them to. So I want to have this footer be kind of revealed. So I have to nest it a little bit different because right now it's inside, let's look at this DOM here. The footer is, in, is a sibling of article and it's inside of the section. Let's move it outside of the section. Okay, now it goes all the way up. Wild. Um, why is that? Oh, I know why. Okay, so it's outside of the section, but the section is because it's because it's later in the DOM. It just feels like it's sitting on top. So let's find that section at the top here uh, in the styles, and that's called section content. We'll say uh, position. relative and z index um, two. All right, everything is on top now, that's good. Except for uh, background white. Looking good. 
now for the okay I need to Z index up that um, bird box too come on bird box there we go all right now um, everything is sitting on top of the footer because it's position fixed. If I add a little bit of, go back to the article and I add a little bit of margin, nope, content. Why is that gone there? Okay. And I add a little bit of uh, margin bottom to it, we'll get like, let's say, uh, 400 pixels margin bottom. Now when I scroll, it kind of reveals where's my footer stuff? Why are you way over there? Okay, this thing at the bottom here needs to go. Remember that remember that big big div we put there so we could like check out our um, scrolling stuffy stuff stuff? Scrolling stuffy stuff stuff. Uh, check out our uh, what's it called? Our parallax stuff. It was screwing up my div. Okay, so now I have this black uh, footer here that gets kind of like like revealed instead of like it being on the bottom of stuff. It's it's revealed by uh, this container going above it. It's cool, huh? I like it. That's fun. And that one didn't even use any JavaScript, any Javi, and that, and that one didn't even use any JavaScript, so it's a little bit easier to implement. Cool. My friends, it has been my pleasure to make these videos for you. I hope that you impress your friends and your bosses and your clients with these cool things that you've learned, and they shower you with praise and coin. These videos would not have been possible without the generous support of these people. These people are my patrons. Patrons are able to take advantage of DevTips community chat, and from time to time, we also have private video hangouts. Recently, a patron had this to say. If you are interested in joining this community and getting more value from DevTips, check out patreon.com slash devtips to learn how. My name is Travis. This is DevTips. Keep on hacking. <laughs>